Yes, we gotta shake this icky sticky goo. And I know exactly who to call. Oh, yeah. This action-packed, full of color and vibrant show will make you absolutely love it and want to keep on watching. Hi everyone, I'm Zoe Canella, reporting for Kids First and Zoe the Movies, and I'm so excited because once again I'm here with Nikki Lopez and I'm with Kevin Chacon. And how how are you guys? Good. How are you, Zoe? Good to I'm see you right. again. Hi. Yeah. Um, I loved the first episode. I already saw it. I thought it was so colorful and vibrant, and I loved everything about it and the whole setting and everything. So why do you think it's so important, or like, why do you think the voices of the characters como Santi and Lorelai and Tomas are so important? Why do you think Kevin is the perfect um, Santiago? Oh gosh, uh, in auditions, it, uh, amongst amongst the myself, Valerie, and Leslie, we were all like, he's, he's Santi. Um, not only was his Spanish excellent, um, but he also carried, Kevin is so charming and so kind and so oh. genuine. And it, it really exuded all those qualities that we hoped we could see on Santi. So that's that's what we wanted with, with all these characters and, and the voices that were casted for them, for it to feel genuinely authentic. Definitely, I loved the first, ep I had already said that, but it was, it was so well done. Um, and I know, Nikki, you're from Puerto Rico, and Kevin, you're from the Costa Rica Heritage and Pretty Sure, and you have a lot of lines in Spanish in the actual show, so... Bravo! Adelante! Do you speak Spanish at home, and what is your favorite part of your culture? That's right. Um, yeah, I speak only Spanish at home. My parents don't let me speak English at all. I mean, when I leave the house, I can't speak English, but in house, strictly Spanish. Um, my favorite part of my culture is, you know, like all the food, all the, you know, all the traditions we have, it's all so different from every type of, you know, culture and, and it's amazing, you know, it's amazing to see all the differences and in this show, Santiago of the Seas, you really see that, you really see everything that happens and you see all the different traditions that we have and what we do. Definitely, I know I'm Venezolana and the food, you can't get better than oh, the yeah. food, it's everything. <laughs> um, <laughs> In this series, Santiago is eight years old. So did you base his voice off of any particular character? Because it might be harder to play a younger voice, obviously, because voices change over the years. So was that difficult for you at all? Um, I recorded, we started recording Santiago two years ago, 2018. And two years later, you know, my voice size changed. But back then, it wasn't really hard at all. You know, it was super, super easy. My voice was high pitched, it was nice. Um, now, yeah, it has gotten a little more difficult, but you know, we do it and we do it well. I try to do the best I can to make it as easy as I can for the creators and for the editors and for everyone. So that's how that is. Wow, yeah. And Nikki, were you at all involved with the recording sessions? I, I had a couple of instances that I was able to fly from LA to New York to to watch the magic happen um, and it was so much fun. That's so cool and I also know John Leguizamo is the voice of one of the characters I think it was Sir Butterscott if yes. I say that correctly. Yeah. Um, and John Leguizamo he's such an icon especially for Latinos so how was it working with him like in the booth? Did you learn a lot from him? Well, what, with with John, when he came to the booth, I, I wasn't there to witness it, but um, I heard from Val and Leslie that he, he's amazing. Like he already had studied the character. He had a vision of what Sir Butterscotch was going to sound like. And we all ended up mesmerized. I mean, it's John Leguizamo. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I feel like his energy and just looking at the way he acted in the Nick Jr. interview that he did on Instagram, that was amazing. Like, you know, his way of being, his personality, his energy is just so amazing. So I know that I didn't really, you know, see him over there, but I know that working with him is amazing. Definitely. He seems like such a fun person to, you know, work with. And I also know the co-creators of the show were also the co-creators of Dora, which was a huge success. So do you have any expectations with Santiago? Because personally, I think this show is going to be a huge hit. 
Oh gosh, I I hope so. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm I'm very optimistic. Uh, it's it's been so much fun creating this show, um, and again, I feel like it's it's a it's a respectful representation that champions kindness, and it's it's something that we need a lot of, especially today. So yeah, I'm hoping. <laughs> <laughs> So everyone, make sure to check out Santiago of the Seas on October 9th. And it was so much for talking with you guys. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. Sorry. Take care. Don't miss Santiago of the Seas on October 9th on Nick Jr. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And you should totally follow me on my Instagram at Zoe at the Movies, on TikTok at Zoe Canela, and subscribe here on YouTube. Love you all. Bye. Adventure awaits, amigos. Santiago of the Seas, the brand new series coming this fall to Nickelodeon.